guys, it's Steph and Joe, and we are on Grose Hill, and we're going to look at the urban legend of what's called Knock Knock Road, and it's actually off a of thoroughfare road, so if you're around here and you want to check it out, thoroughfare, we had to research and find out what it's actually called, and it's right here by this wildlife sanctuary. There's actually two different, um, I don't want to say urban legends, but uh, two different stories of two different hauntings, so we'll kind of go into each of them. All right, so this is a road right here where I guess it's a true story. There was a hoax, but the actual story was it did take place, and it's in the Detroit Free Press of 1962. A uh, babysitter was being taken home by the man of the house, and I guess he tried to make some advances towards her, which she did not take him up on. He kicked her out of the car. Her dress got caught in the, the car, and she was supposedly dragged to her death. So... The legend has it that if you go sometimes at night or even in the daytime, you can sometimes hear knocking on your car while you go down this road here. So let's take a drive. Nothing yet. <laughs> yeah, no knocking. <laughs> While we're driving down this road, I guess I'll tell you about the other um, urban legend that supposedly happened is down at the end of the road here, there's an actual wildlife sanctuary and legend has it that a man hung himself from the tree and that you can still see him on this road and up in There's the tree, rope up in the you tree could, still. yeah, you could actually see the rope in the tree. So we'll, so we'll check be on that the out. out for that. You can imagine this is ten times creepier at nighttime. Yeah. <laughs> We'll have a daytime version and then maybe later we'll have a nighttime version. But it's kind of cool to see it in the light too. You know, if you do come out here, that way you know what you're looking at. So here it looks like the road splits the off. Yep. I'm going to go this way. Not much around here. Mm -mm. Alright guys, so we have gone up and down this road a couple times. I do not see any ropes. I mean, I know it's kind of hard to tell with how it looks, you know, in winter time and everything. It kind of, a rope could easily blend into the trees, but we're also talking about a legend that's occurred a long, long time Over ago. Over 50 years ago. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure if there were any remains, it probably have, you know, it was pretty degraded or non-existent by now, so... But if you do know of anything, let us know. And as always, thanks for watching.